All right, so I had a suggestion to look at today's crosswordle because someone thought it was interesting. So um, we're gonna do that. Um, start the timer. So as usual, fill in the greens right away. Now, this could be an O or a K. Um, I'm thinking O because as you know, my typical approach is to try to save the vowels. <laughs> um, although we don't have too many words this time, so Maybe, maybe it'd be okay. I don't know. Let's just go with O for now. So we could do something like Bravo. That would be good. Although then we're using another vowel already. But like I said, we don't have too many words. So maybe we can make this an O and then we can do an O up there. And then this would have to be a B or an R. R seems better than B, but... Um... To a B. What are we gonna do here? Okay, what if we do we do R there, we'd have to do R up here. We could try that. Um we've got U and I still to use as vowels and Y. So there's something oops, something like that. Ooh, what about what if we do it this way? And then... No, I can't do bury. <laughs> uh, can't do bury, because we can't use the E. And we can't do another R here. Oh, we can't do the B there. Oh, that's right, we can't do the B there. So that would have to be R, B, or O, B. Or O, R. What about like... Ah, oh, we can't do- I was gonna say ochre, or okra. No, we can't do an A. We could do okra, but then we'd have to change this one down here. Oh, is okra not... a word? Oh, okra isn't a word. I thought that was a word. Um, ochre is a word, but we can't do the, the E. Oh, okri is a word. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, I guess maybe ochre. Ochre is a word, so ochre would just mean like, uh, it's, it's like ochre. Um, so now we just need a word at the top. We've got I and U. Um, what can we do? What can we do? We can't do another O. Um. Pivot. No, we can't do a V because I did Bravo. P um. Pino. There we go. Pino. Perfect. All right, so two minutes and 39 seconds. I feel pretty good about that one. Um, now, let's see, it'd be interesting to see if we can do, uh, you know, we've tried to do the the extra challenge before we ha where we have another word on top that's all grays. I wonder if I can come up with something because we haven't used the U. All right, so here I've put it into the builder mode and added an extra row at the top. So let's see if we can come up with something. We've got the U, we've got S, we've got a lot of things, so. Hmm. Doles? Doles would work. There we go. There you go. That was my solution to today's. Let's see. Should we look at some other solutions? Let's see what else there is. So, ooh, rugby is good. Rugby is good. I had thought about using R and B, but I couldn't come up with anything. I like rugby. Um, Brink instead of Bravo. Oh, yeah. So, so I didn't necessarily need to use the O because there weren't as many words. So that's a good, that's a good idea there. Alarm, rugby. So far, it's all Brink and Bravo. Brisk, brisk. Yep, Brink, brisk, and Bravo. And then rugby and rigor, brick. Rumor, rigor, yeah. Interesting. All right, so lots of possible options there. So let me know how you did with today's crosswordle and what word you used. Did you use brick, brink, brisk, bravo? Did you do something else? Um, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. This works just like normal wordle, except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're gonna get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are. Oh, we can do another P. We can do another P, apply. Bouth? No. Douth? No. Ah, uh, what is this? Touth? I don't think Touth is a word. Oh, no. No, no, not necessarily, because we could repeat the E or the O. Ozone would be really good there, and that would be a really tricky one with the Z.